So let's look at the last line. This is how it goes. So some rhythms that we know already there are T ticka T ticka ta. But we've got some accents on our notes this time. So look out for those markings that look like this. Can you find them on your notes? What do they mean? They mean that we need to push the sound to emphasize it. So if I was to do that on my name, instead of Sarah, I put it on the S and the R, it would sound Sarah. Maybe try putting some accents in your name, seeing what that sounds like. It brings the music to life when we put it in the music, it makes it jump out at us. So um, how to do this with the bow? Let's try the first one. So we're gonna put one on the D string, which makes that E sound. And we're going to push the bow down with our knuckles onto the string. Can you see how I've got my round fingers here, my round thumb underneath? That's why you really need that there to push. And then we're just gonna pull the bow away very quickly. Have a listen to how I do it first. Off I go. Have a try now. So push your knuckles down and then pull the bow very quickly. Nice, relaxed, released elbow. Off we go. Great. So we've got one on the D string. We have to tilt the bow to the E string and do one on the up bow. So pressing with that first finger on the bow and release. Try the one on the D string, tilt and then up bow. Off we go. Tilt. Try that a few times with that stop in the middle and tilt. And then try it without the stop, which would sound like this. So practice it with the stop and without the stop. And the rest of it is um, just a nice arpeggio going down the um, A and D string. So try that and then put it all together.